Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second part of this little premiere that I have for you guys on this fine Saturday evening. I should have these going up in consecutive order of One Piece, Hunter, Hunter, and then the premiere of Promised, Promised Neverland following this premiere. So, um, hopefully if I have everything all scheduled correctly, everything looks fine. Uh, Hunter, or sorry, One Piece should have gone up at 4 p.m., Eastern time, sent Eastern Standard Time. So uh, that premiere should be up, and you guys should have enjoyed it thoroughly. Episodes 38 and 39 at 4 p.m., and then this Hunter Hunter premiere is coming up at 5. Um, and I think I'm only doing episode 2 for this one, and then Promised Neverland shall be up after this at 6 p.m. Eastern. So um, here we go, Hunter Hunter episode 2. Now it's been a long time since I watched this last and um, part of it is due to the whole copyright struggle. You know, the video got blocked first, then I had to re-upload it. Now it's doing fine. So hopefully I can keep all these up on YouTube. If not, then I'll have to do the whole redirect thing and send you guys over to like, I don't know, like Daily Motion or Vimeo or something like that. But um, for now, I think I'll be able to keep us on the right side of the path in terms of copyright struggles. Um, don't have the audio or anything displaying just to help with that. And uh, video is going to be a little bit smaller. But yeah, how you guys, how you guys are enjoying uh, the uh, this sort of format right now. You know, got like a new intro sort of kind of for it so that's like a little bit more clean and uh you know a few more things added to it to, for uh, your guys's enjoyment so without any further ado let's get into hunter hunter episode two Ooh, bars <laughs> all right oh i forgot this intro i need to see it again fearsome monsters monsters exotic creatures vast riches hidden treasures by the way i got a notepad here uh, I've heard quite a bit of, um, how do I say, aggressiveness from the Hunter Hunter community and how they handle, you know, the content that is displayed. Um, I've already seen this thing, so I, I know I know what this is all about, the Hunter thing. They're known as Hunters. Yes, I know that. So, um, I don't think I'm allowed to watch the intro just yet, but um, do correct me if I'm wrong. And that the intro contains spoilers so i will be skipping the intro for this one because i really don't remember if i watched i don't think i watched it last time either so um let's try and back up a little bit here right they were on the um they were on the boat last time and then uh i think it was gone karapika and leobria i'm gonna write down their names but um i believe those three were uh you know the main three that basically made it off that boat. So I'm going to write down their names and have this play. Test of Tests, Episode 2. Let's do it. All right, so we've got Gone, uh, Dole Harbor. All right, cool. After winning the captain's favor, the trio of Gone, Karapika, and Leorio. Yep, I got the names right. You already know. Got that steel trap of a mind. Arrived safely at Dole Harbor. All right, Cap. Always smoking that pipe. All right, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> always on that pipe. That's why your nose so red, dude. You need to stop smoking that pipe. Why you got a cigarette in his pipe? Big cedar tree on the... Is it cedar or cedar? I think it's cedar. Cedar? Cedar tree on the hilltop. All right, cool. Should make your way there first. Oh, okay. He's letting him know where to go. He's, he's giving them them tips. Oh, a shortcut. Okay. Okay. Just head for that tree. Oh, wow. Is that is that Captain? Is that some favoritism I see here? Cause uh, last episode we saw that he knew his father, um, Gin. Was it Gin or yeah? It's freezing. It's not me pausing it. My internet is being some dookie right now. I apologize. Um, what was his uh? Going to, why is it doing this? Come on now. Okay, cool. Rest it. Ging. Okay, I thought it was Gin. <laughs> Your son is going to a respectable young. Yeah, he is. Dude, looking like Kid Goku over here. And who is this creep that's just watching? Dude, fix your nose. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> According to the notice he received. What did you receive? What notice did you receive? What you got there? The exam is supposed to be held in somewhere in Zabin City. Zabon. These names, man. These names are going to kill me. <laughs> that tree's in the opposite. Oh, okay. So the cedar tree told him about is nowhere near where they're supposed to go who are you gonna trust going who are you gonna trust and this notice isn't any help where did you find that notice in the first place <laughs> how do you know that notice is right it does find the exam site using a limited amount of information okay so that's the point of being a hunter right apparently that's what hunters gotta do they gotta be they gotta be on that right mindset they gotta know what to do and when to do it captain was had oh okay so going to trust him captain i would too i mean he seemed cool he may have been a drunk with rudolph's nose and uh, all this other crap on him you know he <laughs> may have been smoking a pipe half the time but you know i'll trust him oh karapika is trusting him too oh okay nice uh <laughs> nice input there karapika knowing knowing what you gotta know doing what you gotta do or are you pretty stubborn trying to follow that notice all the way through seems 
none of the buses have made it to Zobin. Oh, <laughs> rookies usually fail this part because they're too nice. <laughs> How did he just so happen to be walking past these guys when they were talking about that? Leo Rio, you're... Mm -mm -mm. That luck of yours is gonna run out pretty soon. <laughs> that was, that was just so happened to be walking by when those guys are talking. That's talk about coincidence, I guess. And this creep is still leave. Who are you? Is that another crow? Anything with the, anything with the, anything with wings is a crow to me, bro. Anything with wings. If it's got wings, it's a crow. I don't care what you say. <laughs> if it's got wings, it's a damn crow. Crows are what's up, dude. Let's go. I need a crow in the background over here, man. And I need a crow out here. Got to represent for the crows. Crows nest all right yeah what is when did this cult just so happen to appear out of nowhere exciting girl what are those teeth <laughs> out of all the teeth you could have kept you chose those two just pull them out just please pull them out <laughs> come on now you boys are headed for that tree on the hill oh okay so i think then this should be a part of the test right she's just gonna yeah okay so she this is a part of the test dude okay i show them okay so they're on the right path here they're on the right path cool they are on the right path five seconds to state the answer you get the wrong answer and you're disqualified oh wait if they if they don't pass are they allowed to take it again i'm assuming they'll let us know but <laughs> only one question <laughs> did you miss that <laughs> answer will be one or two any other answer will be considered incorrect okay well all three of us share one question yeah leo if one fails all fails that's how it goes this gives me the high likelihood of the <laughs> vice versa happening <laughs> this way it's easier since only one of us needs to know the answer yeah gone's uh gone strong point ain't exactly uh <laughs> the question question and answer type thing his thing is uh out in the woods fighting dudes that's what his thing is oh my god he knew that they were fall that this dude was following him my god going is out here like i know you're following me i'm just gonna let it keep going just uh you know do your thing bro <laughs> why are they fools i'll leave a trail trail of traps so you're just a scumbag all around you're just the ultimate douche. There's nothing good about you. <laughs> Evil villains have captured your mother and lover. You can only save one. Oh, it's those types of questions. Okay. You should have told me this is a no-win situation. It's about to be some type of curvy meth. She's going to be like, uh, yeah, these are, it's just going to be trick question type of thing. Why is there a button? No one else is answering. <laughs> it's only him. Can't replace your mother. Man, that's a good mindset. That's a good mindset. There you go. That crow knows what's up. Oh, well, he got it right. Apparently. Tell the old lady what she wants to hear. So she wants to hear that you'd say, your mother <laughs> this guy i've noticed a lot of like trickery and stuff like that with this uh hunter exam so far refuse to take the quiz and you're disqualified chill out it's not <laughs> i feel like this isn't even a part of the test i don't know why no right answer. see that's that's the kind of that's what i was talking about mm, okay she noticed that he figured it out yeah that's what i'm saying like, it's like some type of trick question type of thing there's no right answer i'm it's like so he can't tell him that it's all a trick, okay. But has Gon figured it out? He's pretty smart. I mean, he's not smart. He's perceptive. I think he's got he's got his senses all. Son and daughter. Well, that's an impossible question. So obviously, like, there's no right answer. Yeah, Gon is more perceptive. His senses are way up there, but I don't think he's the greatest critical thinker. Maybe in, he's got fighting sense. But what is he doing? You're trying to beat that old lady, dude. She <laughs> she's 90 years old. Chill. She got a whole bunch of cult members all around her. They're gonna gonna mess you up. Oh, he's about it. Okay, Leorio, you you need to chill with this. Did he hit her or did she pull something? Out? Or no, Karapika blocked it. All right, Karapika, you go, bro. You go. I hope he's satisfied till I talk. Dude, chill. She will take five years to heal from a hit like that. My God, you'll waste our correct response. Oh, okay, so we got the correct response. The right answer is no answer. Silence was okay. See, it's a trick question, dude. Like, you just gotta hit the nail on the head. Figuratively and literally. He was gonna hit her right in the head. <laughs> hit the nail on the head. Jesus. The quiz had no right answer. All right. We could only stay at one. So why did she tell the other guy to pass then? Did he not get it right? Silas was the only response. Yeah, what about the other dude? Did he Oh, that's uh, that, that's the type of thing that pisses me off. She never said he was right. She just said you could pass. God, it's all about wordplay with this right now. It's all about that wordplay. Oh, the correct path is over here. Hey, man, that not, that better not be a trick too. Walk two hours and you'll reach the top. Couple lives at the cabin beneath the. Okay, okay, so they're guides for the next exam site. That's too easy though. They can't just take you to the next exam site, can they? can't be that easy <laughs> i feel there's another test up there dude you might want to i enjoy meeting people like you really dudes that want to attack you with a two by four that's that's the type of person you like to meet oh she's already predicting that we become hunters all right cool so is the whole anime gonna be 
trip to become a hunter can't think <laughs> this dude didn't even know what happened he's still trying to think of an answer this guy he's lucky they're with him though that's good all right cool they're already squatting up that's cool that's cool as i asked so i'm gonna write it down i'm gonna just talk about it after mm, oh he asked him the real questions though out here he asked him the real questions one day he might have to make that choice okay going for a 12 year old kid he really asking some deep questions out here I'm assuming the life of a hunter is going to be pretty dangerous. So so it's not that they have to answer it right now, but they at least have to think about it and be prepared to, yeah, be prepared to face those kind of situations. Dang, some hunters are real serious out here, though. Hunters are serious out here. It's the name of the anime. I get it, but still. All right, uh, let me actually write this down. It was two hours, two hours ago. <laughs> Beware of magical beasts. Okay, so there's some crazy mess in this anime. So it's all just not humans and, you know, just regular stuff. I mean, we did see that big, like, lobster-looking fish in the first episode that Gon caught. So there are weird animals in this, too? All right. Are there, like, abilities and stuff like that? That'd be dope. I want to see some powers out here. <laughs> I want to see someone shooting fire out their fingernails. <laughs> it's so weird. Oh, there's a magical beast, or that's just a beast. That thing look nasty, ew. Swiper, no swiping looking. <laughs> look like Swiper from Dora. Extremely intelligent creature. Jesus Christ. Dude, chill out. You're literally bleeding out on the floor. And this man, Leorio, already got stuff ready? He got some medical equipment ready. Is that his thing? Does he want to be like a doctor or something? He, already, he had a suitcase full of meds already. He could follow the faint shadow even through a dark, dark forest. Okay. Yeah, Karapika has been like sort of noting all of Gon's like perception and his senses, which is why he's been following him so far, which I've taken notice too, Karapika. Don't worry. You ain't the only one. <laughs> Gon, chill. You got this. He's supposed to be Tarzan. Oh, the fact that he could talk threw him off. <laughs> Kiriko uses human speech. Okay. That makes this a lot easier. What about that makes it easier? Oh my god, he's quick! Pulled instant transmission out of here. This kid 12 and he just slapped him up with his fishing rod. My lord. So he's the fact that he could talk to sort of throw him off. He said silly Kiriko. I mean, I mean, even though it was a split second, he was able to take advantage of the fact that he was like pissed just a tiny bit. You know, I hate to judge based on appearance, but what are those tats on your face? <laughs> Please take me to my husband. Oh, he noticed something. Did you just leave the dude bleeding out? You're a crap doctor, my guy. <laughs> oh, never mind. I mean, he would know, right? <laughs> he would know better than me, at least. <laughs> Gave him some of that Tylenol. Okay, okay, I see you. And you're gonna slap him for that. Kropka, you need to chill. You think you all that. Oh, never mind. That's, e <laughs> That's evil, Lior. <laughs> That's evil, Lior. <laughs> this man, Kropka, you before me. Oh, Lord have mercy. This... Forest is creepy as hell. These dudes could transform into other people too. They were to take care of the injured man and he consented. Given the magical beast is still on the. Oh, is there more than one? Because I attacked you foolishly, leaving an injured man on his own. <laughs> yeah, that's what I like. He was still bleeding out too. Because Go isn't Gon chasing one of them? Or is that the same one Gon was chasing? Oh. How does he know all this? Are there no victims here? Is everyone just trying to get at them? Because Gon is chasing this one and then Karapika just hit another one. So I'm assuming there's more than one. And this dude going just jumped on a cliff or jumped off the cliff here. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> Using the fishing rod like that. <laughs> yeah, that shit was square on the forehead. Do it again. Do it again real quick. Hit him with that titanium steel fishing rod you got there. The high price for that, accompl that accomplishment came with. Okay. Why is he looking? Dude, he's right in front of you. Block that claw. <laughs> God. But he noticed something that I haven't. Who are you? These kids are smarter than me. I need to shut up, man. <laughs> How could you tell that I'm not the same one? I'm out here just trying to grill him on not doing things right, but your face is completely different and your voice is a little... No, they're exactly the same. How do you notice that? These super kids out here about making me look so dumb. <laughs> I'm just trying to roast them on what they're doing. Well, there's... Yeah, okay, there were two. Okay, that's what I thought. How many years has it been since someone's always able to... <laughs> yeah, this dude going is like... That's. I think that's what... These episodes are really about trying to like let us know about Gon's perception, and you see the one crop guy I beat up is 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 the husband. Yeah, they're exactly the same. We are the navigators. Our family provides support for the hunter exam. Daughter and son. <laughs> how is how does that work? I don't. I I think there's something that your parents are uh, neglecting to tell you, there, kids. <laughs> you guys might be adopted. I'm just I'm just throwing it out there, but. <laughs> 
we don't help every candidate only the ones that um so yeah that's what i was saying that this is it's probably another test up here too use the most vague of hints to determine that we weren't spouses husband wife brother and sister okay these tattoos in this region mark woman is as single for life oh okay he already knew that jesus crap cut so he's he's the smart dude of the group he, he knows he knows what's up around the um he knows what's up around the world he's got that worldly knowledge yeah what did you do you never realized my true identity <laughs> Ooh, ooh, dress my injuries faster and more thoroughly than any do Oh, okay. So yeah, he is. He's got some medical experience out here. All right, cool. He's got yeah, he's got some type of skill. Okay, and he's got that bedside manner. Cool, cool. It kind of makes you worthy to take the hunter exam. So they haven't even. These are still the exams to take the exam. Like <laughs> Jesus Christ. How I feel after passing every single exam. <laughs> I'm just like Jesus Christ. Chill. Obviously, you passed. Superhuman physical ability and powers of observation. Mm-hmm. So is I think I think Gon will be considered uh, superhuman at this point from what he's done so far. All right, cool. Our boy, our homies have passed the exam so far. All right, nice, nice, nice. And they can fly. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Just <laughs> of course they can fly. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Merely earned the right to take the real exam. Now they're going to the real exam. All right, cool. It's crazy though. Like they can transform into people, other people, and all this other stuff. They can fly. What kind of magical beasts are they? All right, nice little episode, nice little wrap up here. I liked it. I liked it indeed. Still haven't even reached the starting line. All right, cool, cool, cool indeed. So I wrote a few things here that I want to talk about at the end of the episode. But uh, first thing I want to mention, the first episode didn't really grab me as much as I wanted it to. I mean, I was obviously I wasn't just going to stop it there. I was going to continue it. Um, same thing happened with Soul Eater. Uh, first two episodes or so didn't really get to me, and then I still continued like up until like the sixth episode, and I just couldn't get into it really. Um, I mean, I liked watching it, sitting down and watching it, but I just couldn't record myself reacting to it because it was kind of boring. I was just like, sort of like uh, in and out of it. But this uh, this episode really got me into it, kind of. Um, still not hooked per se, but I am enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would. Uh, first episode didn't really give me as much as I wanted. This one gave me a lot more in terms of uh, their skill level and all this other stuff. But uh, one thing that I want to talk about here um, is the whole anime going to be covering their adventure as hunters. Obviously, I'm going to continue on, keep watching, and I'll eventually figure it out for myself. But if, they, if the whole anime is covering their uh, adventure becoming a hunter, then I think... 150 something episodes is a bit much but i may be completely overestimating my sort of what i know so far on the anime and i may be jumping the gun here so i don't know maybe the hunters thing is like 10 or 20 episodes and then they'll get into crazier stuff a bit later so can't wait to see what else there is there because hunter exam so far is kind of boring but then again they haven't really started it so I really want to see what happens once they start because from um, what they've been saying and that's another thing I wrote here the hunters seem to be a lot crazier than I first expected I thought you know hunters was literally just hunters like they hunted animals they hunted big game or something like that for money and you know they they say in the intro like vast riches and all this other stuff unexplored territories that's what hunters do but I they feel more like some crazy explorers at this point with the whole question that she asked like oh would you rather save your son or your daughter or your mom and your or your loved one and like going is out here thinking like i may really have to think about that i may run into that situation so maybe that's a bit of foreshadowing on what decisions going would have to make but as a 12 year old kid that is quite a bit of thinking to have to do for him but not a whole lot of speculating or analysis i can do from just two episodes just really give my thoughts and my thoughts on it so far it's pretty good i enjoy it uh I keep dropping my pencil here um seem like more so than not they're giving us a whole bunch of unanswered questions to sort of look forward to will go and find his dad will he become a hunter and all that sort of stuff that just keeps piling up so uh we'll see what happens from there on out but uh, enjoy this episode and can't wait to start episode three episode three should be coming up on monday so look forward to that and 
yeah basically all i uh, got to say for this episode two here thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys stick around because at 6 p.m the promised never the promised neverland will premiere so enjoy that thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next premiere